I believe it, it's because of the great history of the building. It was the original na um, National Aviary in 1952, um, so I think that's a big part of it. Um, I also run into a, I've run into a number of guests who actually remember it from their childhood, from the 50s and 60s when it was the original building. So I think there's a lot of great history, a lot of great memories for people as they um, enter the exhibit. I think some of the benefits are it's it's really the most immersive exhibit in the in the whole National Aviary because as you enter the space and walk across the bridge, it's really a 360 degree experience. That, you know, birds and plants below and above, and either side. So I think that's a big part of it. Um, I also believe that because of the traditional shape, the historical shape of the, um, the greenhouse, which really alludes to the old um, you know, greenhouses from the 19th century, I think that creates kind of a nostalgic, a romantic kind of a sense to, to the space. And also I believe the, the, the lighting and the, the glass really creates a very soft kind of diffused um, environment in the space which is a, a little bit unique to the rest of the National Aviary. It was built in 1952 and it was the original National Aviary at that time and um, it was designed and built by Lord, Lord and Burnham Company which was really the kind of the world leader in, in um, greenhouse conservatory structures around the world and um, they designed and built um, greenhouses in, in New York, San Francisco and also the Phipps Conservatory so that's really a big part of the history I believe. I do feel that one of the great attributes of the new um, renovated facility will be the, the bird-friendly glass. I think that's really going to make it a unique structure and make an improvement over the original building.